What's up guys, this is gonna be a DIY on how to repair and build screens for your windows. All right, so being able to repair your own screens or kind of build your own screens is gonna help save a little money. It's not too difficult, so I'm gonna just gonna show you some basic ways to uh, fix these screens. So um, in terms of supplies, you can use your old frames if they're already cut out um, and you can simply replace the, the rib screen. If you're gonna build new screens, you have to buy the right dimension um, screen frames, you're gonna need some of the screen itself, make sure that the measurements align. And you definitely don't wanna skimp on the screen because they could be pretty cheap. This one's actually a cheaper one and it rips kinda easily, but there are some really good, tough, durable screens that you, you'd you probably want, but make sure that it matches you know, your home style, your color. You don't want a, a super dark screen and then a light screen next to it. You wanna make sure everything matches. You're also going to need a razor and a spleen tool. So these uh, screen frame kits, they come with everything you basically need. You got your spleen, which you can buy separately. You got uh, the corners, you got the tabs, and you got the tension spring. So everything you need to kind of construct a screen, you just want to make sure that you have the correct length. So if you're building your own screen, you're gonna measure the dimension and then cut off the excess. You definitely wanna measure twice and then cut, and you wanna factor in the length of the corners into the overall length and width. So in terms of the spleen, uh, this comes with the spleen, but if you needed to go to Home Depot and buy a new spleen, you wanna make sure that you have the right size spleen. So if you take some of the old stuff, you can match it up in store to make sure you have the right size. So once you've measured and cut the excess using like a hacksaw you're going to want to put in the corners so you can simply just slide and insert these corners there we go just nice and tight so in terms of putting in the springs you're going to want to slide it in right here then you're going to want to put the corner piece in Push it in like that. And now you have the spring in there. And then you're gonna wanna continue to make your box or rectangular shape for your screens. You're gonna wanna plug in the other ends. So you got the other end all set with both of the springs. So if you just needed to replace one side, like a bent part of the frame, you can follow the same process. You know, you, you put in your corners and you just cut off a new frame and then you'd insert it. In. And then you just have to replace the one part of the spleen rather than the whole thing. So that's one way to replace just a bent frame. All right, so the frame is all assembled. Now I'm gonna start putting on the screen. All right, so we're gonna put the pull tabs in like this, and they'll be secured when we put the spleen in. So this is the spleen we're gonna use with this spleen roller. So in terms of securing the screen, you can use tape. You can cut this and tape it here so it's secure while you roll the spleen, or you can tape it to another surface here, um, or you can just try to wing it, but obviously in the beginning, it makes more sense until you get comfortable to tape this and so that the uh, screen is tight and it's not loose and, and bubbly. So I like to start by using something like a small screwdriver to like push into the corner a little bit just to get it going before I roll it. So just gently push in, keep in mind you don't want to poke the screen should just fit in like that. And we're gonna press firmly and we're gonna roll the spleen in there, kind of like you're cutting a pizza, but you gotta get in there just like that. Scissors to snip. Poke it down. So we got our first end all spleened. So I'm gonna follow the same steps. 
going to put one end in and I'm just gonna poke it in there to start the edge. Sure that the screen is somewhat tight. So I'm using the screwdriver to poke in there where the pull tab is because it can be difficult using the roller where the pull tab is. And I'll continue with the roller. Make sure you're pressing firmly. Careful not to damage the screen. So don't put the screen in the spleen. Now we have to cut the edges. So we're gonna trim the edges with this razor and there's a couple tricks, so I'll show you. So first cut off the major excess with scissors to get it out of the way so it's not in your way. Now this step can be uh, pretty stressful because you don't wanna cut inside of the spleen because you'll make a rip in the screen. So be very careful with this because you have to use a razor. So you want to cut on the outside of the spleen, not the inside, but the outside and on an angle like this slightly and sort of cut. And you want to press down firmly just along the outside of the spleen in a little crease. And you might have to go over it a couple times. Should just kind of separate and again just be very careful because you don't want to rip the inside All right, so this is the finished product of the screen. So it takes some practice, but once you get the hang of it, you can replace all your screens and it's a little cheaper than paying someone to do it. All right, I hope this video was helpful with the DIY make your own screen or repair your own screen. It definitely uh, is something that will save you some money. One thing, you don't want to use the cheap aluminum screens. Like I was actually using the cheap aluminum ones because I was just making some uh, screens for some windows that aren't really in the picture, but use uh, quality screens, you know, ones that are like pet resistance, especially of dogs and cats, you know, the more durable ones. Thanks for watching guys. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.